Church Johannesburg it is. Yay. Did you have a good week, Yaya? I had a good week, Mimi. Did you have a good week? Mine was excellent, thank you. And guess what? What? We're going to have lots of fun today. Yes, we are. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's are you ready, kids? Yeah, you guys ready? Let's kick it off with our song for this week. Yay. <laughs>
Hello everybody and welcome to today's online e-kids session. I am Auntie Kuda. Today we will be learning about a man who was very obedient to God. You know, from the past lessons and the Bible characters we have studied over the weeks, there are a few words that stand out to me, such as trust, boldness, courage, brave, and obedience. I am excited to be learning about Noah today. Noah displayed obedience at a time when it didn't make sense and people ridiculed him, they laughed at him, but he knew what God had said to him and he chose obedience. Now, during Noah's time, there was so much sin in the world and this displeased God so much. God decided to send a flood to destroy everything on earth. Everything. But Noah, Noah was different from everybody else. Noah loved God. And obedience to Noah was important. Obedience to what God has said was more important to him than anything else. God decided to spare Noah and his family from the upcoming flood. And so he gave Noah a set of instructions to build a huge, enormous, gigantic boat that we call Noah's Ark. But remember, no one had ever seen rain before. And so the people laughed at Noah and they ridiculed him. But you know what's so amazing? What's amazing to me is that Noah didn't care. He didn't care what the people said about him or that they laughed at him. He cared and valued obedience to what God had said. And I hope that that can be a lesson to all of us that it's more important to please God than to please people. So part of the instructions was for Noah to collect two of every kind of animal that walked on the ground and the birds that flew in the air to take into the ark with him. Now, let's try and guess some of the animals that Noah took with him into the ark. 
like lions, elephants, giraffes, bears, doves. You can imagine what kind of an assignment this was. And I'm trying to imagine what the people were thinking when they saw him do this. But he still did it because God had told him to do it. And after that, Noah and his family went into the ark with all the animals and the birds. And it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, none stop. That even the tallest mountain was covered by the water. Wow, I wonder what that looked like. Noah, his family and the animals were safe in the ark. And then God sent a strong wind and the waters went down until the boat rested on a mountain called Mount Ararat. So Noah sent out some birds a couple of times to check if there was still water covering the ground. And when the dove that he sent did not return, he knew that it was safe to come out of the ark. They opened the door and they walked on dry ground. And God put a rainbow in the sky as a promise to them to show that he would not destroy the earth with the flood ever again. And we all know how beautiful rainbows are. Those beautiful, stunning colors. And I love it that every single time we see a rainbow, we are reminded of God's promise to us. Hey, wasn't that such a fun story? I had lots of fun. Yeah, that was such an awesome story. Did you guys enjoy that? Yes. Excellent. And guess what time it is? It's time for the Memory Bank. Yay! My favorite time of day. Let's get right into our Memory Bank. It's time for the memory verse. 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 Yay! I am super excited to do today's memory verse and I hope that you have all been practicing and saying it over and over and over again. So it's time for us to do it together. Let's go. Ephesians 6 1 Children obey your parents because you belong to the Lord yeah we belong to the Lord and indeed we do belong to the Lord I think we should do that again Ephesians 6 1 children Obey your parents because you belong to the Lord. Well done, everyone. And I want to encourage you to say this verse over and over and over again until you know it here and in your heart. And to pray, to say, Lord, help me to obey my parents. Help me to obey my leaders and help me to not care about pleasing people but be concerned about obeying you as we have learned in the story of Noah. It's been so much fun everyone. I am Antikuda and I pray that you have a wonderful week. Bye everybody! Good afternoon friends. Today I will be reciting my memory book of Ephesians 6 verse 1. Repeat after me. Ephesians 6 verse 1. Hello guys. I'm telling you. Ephesians 6, uh, 6 1. Obey your parents. And you belong to.
to the Lord. Hello everyone. The verse for the week is Ephesians 6 verse 1. Children, obey your parents because you belong to the Lord. Children, obey your parents because you belong to the Lord. Yes, Mimi. I'm going to ask you a few questions to see if you're listening during the story. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? Yay! Let's get going. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we learned about a guy called Noah. Yes, we did. Noah had some sons. How many sons did he have? Noah had three sons! Yay! Well done! Super, super, super! Mm-hmm. Okay, now in the story, mm-hmm. it rained for some days. Yes, it did. How many days was it raining for? It rained for 40 days! Yay! Wow! Your stickers, you've got this thing on lock, hey! Okay, last question. Yeah. Now God put a reminder for us that He would never destroy the world with water again. Mm-hmm. What reminder did He set for us? I think the reminder was a rainbow! A rainbow! Wow! I'm shocked you are really paying attention. Yes. Okay. Now I got one more question. Mm-hmm. During the story, there were some monkeys that flashed across the screen. Yeah. How many monkeys did you see? I saw four monkeys. Oh, super duper! <laughs> that is excellent. There were four monkeys. How many monkeys did you guys count? If you counted four. You're very right, it was four monkeys. Yes, well done. Well done, everybody. And guess what? That's it for our game time for this week. Yay! Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Get done, get done. Wow, yeah, yeah, wasn't that such a fun-filled day? Uh, it was amazing, Mimi. I had lots of fun today. Did and you guys have fun? Yeah. yeah! Did you learn a lot also? Yeah! Ah, oh, that's super! <laughs> okay, everybody, close your eyes and put your hands together and let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the lesson we learned today. We just ask that you help us to apply these principles in our lives. And we just pray that the week ahead is an excellent week and that we have lots of fun. In Jesus' name, Amen! Amen! Right, that's it for today. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, 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 bye. bye. See you bye. later. Cheers, cheers. Excellent, well done. Now, here's another question for you. Uh-huh. Noah had three sons. Mm-hmm. How many sons did you How many sons did you have? Yes! Next question. Mm-hmm. Noah had a couple of sons. How many sons did he have?
met, I met he was building a boat. What was this man's name? He was called Noah. Noah, yay! How many sons did Noah have? Noah had three sons. Yay! <laughs> and what was the sign that God gave us that he would never destroy the world with water again? What was the sign?
caught me by surprise It's like I'm dreaming, walking in the light It's got me singing, now this is forever You're never changing now You're never changing You're strong in all my weakness Oh yeah, yeah, yeah You take my broken pieces Oh na 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 And even when I don't see it I trust in what you're doing I trust in what you're doing I get up again Your name holds me together And it will till the end Your never ending love Reminds me of your heart The father that you are And that you're never too far Lord. You're strong in all my weakness Oh yeah, yeah, yeah You take my broken pieces Oh na 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 And even when I don't see it I trust in what you're doing I trust in what you're doing 